Are you planning an Alaskan cruise and wondering what to pack and what to bring? Even if you've gone on a Caribbean cruise before, packing for an Alaskan cruise is quite different and can be a challenge even for experienced cruisers. Hi there, I'm Alana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now the most important part probably after booking your cruise is actually having your cruise packing list and knowing what to pack for your cruise. And for Alaska in particular, if you forget some of the items that you will absolutely need, well, it can really impact your cruise in a negative way and we do not want that to happen. So in this video, what I'm going to do is share with you the clothing that you'll probably want to pack and bring for your Alaska cruise as well as your travel gear that you'll need in Alaska for your land portion or your day trips and of course some of the cruise essentials that will just make your cruise a little bit more pleasant. Now before I get started I did want to mention that if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So firstly let's talk about the weather in Alaska and what to expect because this is definitely going to impact what you are going to pack for your cruise, at least in terms of the clothing. So Alaska tends to have very unpredictable weather. It is notorious for that. So even if somebody says that they have cruised before in the month of September and it's been beautiful and warm and they wore shorts, that may not happen the next year. And as a matter of fact, it's unlikely to. So typically to go through the months of Alaska cruising in the month of May, it tends to be cooler so you'll want to be prepared for that however the good part is there tends to be less rain than in some of the other months now as we approach mid june through july typically these are the warmest months so keep that in mind as you're packing your clothing in august we start to have more rain cooler weather and as we approach september and then into october the weather continues to cool and we do have more rain especially through october but again, the weather is very unpredictable. One thing that you do wanna do is always be prepared for rain and as well have some warm clothing that you can layer and take off as you need. Now, if you've cruised to Alaska in the past, please let me know down in the comments below. I know that will be helpful to others what you did pack and what the weather was like at the time of the year that you sailed what to pack and bring for your Alaska cruise. So the first thing is you'll want to dress in layers. And what this means is you do wanna have a t-shirt for instance, and over that t-shirt, maybe a fleece, a fleece zippy, or a sweater over that. And then on top of that, you'll wanna put something like a lined raincoat. This will really help because as the days maybe start off cooler and then get a little bit warmer, you can actually remove some of your clothing or if they start off warmer and then they get cooler or rainier, you can add on clothing. Now, something else that you'll want to bring on your Alaska cruise is a base layer. And that in particular, what I'm talking about is thermal undergarments. Now you may not need these depending on where you are and what you're planning to do on your Alaska cruise. However, if you do plan on doing any excursions that go to the glaciers, or maybe if you're doing the land portion, you'll probably want to bring a base layer of thermal undergarments. Now I will leave some suggestions linked down in the description below this video of recommended items for your Alaska cruise for both men and women. Now I have a total of, I think it's 30 items to share with you. So I am gonna try to go a little bit quickly, but really show you the things that are the most essential. So you'll wanna bring a warm hat, perhaps a scarf, and as well, you'll want to bring warm, thin gloves. Now some gloves that I recommend are one touch gloves. These you'll probably wanna bring with you because when you have your cell phone with you, you can actually still be able to use your gloves and touch your cell phone. So whether it's to take photos, whether it's to check an email quickly, even if it's to look something up on the internet, you'll be able to do that without removing your gloves. So very, very handy. A thin but warm puffer insulated jacket with a hood. Now I know some people have said that with layering, you may not need sort of that winter style jacket. What I'm mentioning by the way, is not like a down coat or anything like that. But obviously this is something that is up to you. I know personally, I live in Canada and I get cold not only in the winter, but I am cold in the fall. I am cold in the spring. I do not like to feel that dampness. So I personally for my Alaska cruise will be bringing a thin, warmer, insulated puffer coat. Please let me know if you've done an Alaskan cruise before, if you felt that this was necessary or not. But I do think, especially if you're going during those cooler months of like September, October, that this is probably something that you will find helpful. 
Number five, and this one is non-negotiable, you're going to want to bring a waterproof jacket. Now, ideally something that's lined, a little bit warm, something that has a hood. This is absolutely something that you'll need because in Alaska, if you're going there for a seven day cruise or any longer, you can expect that you will have some rain at the very least on your cruise. Number six, bring a rain poncho. Now you'll wanna bring an inexpensive rain poncho that you can actually just put right into your backpack so that if you do go off on your excursion in the morning, Morning, and it is not raining but later on it starts to drizzle or rain a little bit harder that you do have that inexpensive but really easy to fold rain poncho in your backpack number seven a waterproof backpack so make sure that you have a backpack that's a little bit different than the backpack you may take on your Caribbean cruise this backpack should really be waterproof and again you just want to prevent um, all of your clothing your items from getting wet in your backpack you could also use your backpack um, for your embarkation day as a carry-on bag or a personal bag as well number eight warm moisture absorbent socks make sure this is on your Alaska cruise packing list because this is going to be very important so some people say to have hiking socks wicking socks they go by different names but the important point is that they are moisture resistant so that when you do go hiking when you do go walking if it's rainy if it's very damp that you do keep your feet from getting wet and cold number nine waterproof shoes or hiking boots now a lot of people say they do really well with a good pair of waterproof shoes these are waterproof shoes now that are similar to sneakers but really they're almost a cross between a sneaker and a hiking boot and you could really wear them all day when you're in Alaska do make sure that they are comfortable I would also bring another pair of sneakers for those drier days where you're perhaps just walking around the town but definitely if you're doing any hiking you definitely want to have these waterproof shoes or boots now all of the items that I'm mentioning and showing you in this video are going to be linked down in the description below. Number 10, a bathing suit. Now I know a lot of people wonder about this. They say, should I bring a bathing suit on an Alaskan cruise? And yes, you should, even though it doesn't seem like an obvious thing. Keep in mind, you can still use the hot tubs. There are indoor pools on many cruise ships. And as well, you may even get one of those beautiful, warm, sunny days and be able to even use the outdoor pool on your Alaskan cruise. That definitely can happen. But could you imagine sitting in the hot tub as you are sailing past glaciers? How amazing that would be. So definitely make sure to bring a bathing suit. Number 11, bring binoculars. Now, a really good tip is bring a pair of binoculars per person. Don't even plan on sharing this because if you do pass this from one person to the other, you really may miss seeing some of the wildlife and you definitely do not want that. By the way, these are super lightweight, compact, come in a case and have a string that you can wear around your neck as well. Number 12, consider a small compact umbrella. Now, some people say if they brought a poncho, they haven't brought an umbrella. Other people say that they do like to have a small compact umbrella especially one that is like windproof or wind resistant number 13 if you want to be really hands-free on your excursions consider bringing a travel pouch that you can wear around your waist as well this can even be worn around the shoulder it is water resistant you can bring items in here and you can even consider packing things like even inside of ziploc bags if you really want to make sure that they absolutely stay dry on your cruise or simply even wearing this under your rain jacket and a travel pouch is something really handy as well. And of course you can wear this on the way to your cruise, keep your passports and other items in here, your money, credit cards, anything you need. The good thing about this one is it can be worn under your clothing and it's really very, very comfortable and the strap is adjustable as well. Number 15, you're going to want to bring insect repellent with you on your Alaskan cruise. When you do go off on your day excursions, especially if you're doing any hiking, you're definitely going to need your insect repellent. Number 16, and there's a 17 as well, make sure to bring your sunscreen and your lip balm. It can still be very sunny in Alaska. You can have days where you're absolutely going to potentially get a sunburn. So make sure to wear these things when you need to. Number 18, now I hope that I haven't mixed up my numbers. It is definitely possible, but convertible pants. Now, a lot of people wonder about, should I bring shorts on an Alaskan cruise? Because the weather is unpredictable. You never know. You might have a day that you can wear a t-shirt and jeans more likely than shorts, but it is possible that even on the cruise ship, you can have a warm day. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll bring like a cargo pant or a convertible pant that can unzip. And then this way you kind of have pants and shorts in one. 
Now I have about 10 more essentials that you'll probably want to pack for an Alaskan cruise. But before I continue on, I did want to mention that I do have an Alaskan cruise packing list for men and for women as part of the Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now the Ultimate Cruise Planner is a downloadable printable cruise planner that is 47 pages long that includes really everything that you would need to plan your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. So you will even have cruise planning forms. This is one of the things that I personally really like for every port of call. So where you can write down what excursion you're planning, what are the main sites that you'd like to see, what are maybe some souvenirs that you'd like to buy, some places to eat, and really things that I think in particular for an Alaskan cruise that you want to make sure you do not miss anything and there's a lot of research involved. This is really very, very handy. Now what I will do is I will leave the information for the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down in the description below in case you do want to check it out. Number 19, collapsible water bottle. So important important when you do go off the cruise ship, whether you're in Alaska or in another port that you do have water with you. And these are really handy because they'll fold up really, really tiny when you're finished with them, leaving you more space in your backpack. Number 20, do not forget to bring something for seasickness just in case. Now, personally, I really like boning. There's a lot of people who say what they do is they actually take one every day just to prevent any motion sickness. So if you think that motion sickness may affect you, that is something you may wanna do. A lot of other people really like to use C-bands as well. So those are natural and they work basically by you wear them around your wrist and they go on your pressure points. I do have an entire video all about things that you could do to prevent and deal with seasickness. So I will leave that video right at the end of this one in case you do want to check that out. Number 21, you may want to bring some collapsible hiking poles. Now, some people have said that they found this really convenient. If they went back a second time to Alaska, this was actually something that they did bring for their hikes. Now, getting into some cruise essentials that you could use for your cruise cabin, I will just name you a few of the most important. So you'll want to bring a cruise approved or cruise compliant power bar. This is a power bar that is non-surge protected. Very important for when you're on a cruise ship. And of course, you do want to make sure that you have USB outlets to charge all of those different devices. And you want to have your um, electric chargers as well, or your electric plugs as well. Number 23, magnetic hooks. Now, most of the time in a cruise cabin, your cabin walls are going to be metal, which means that you can actually get some extra storage space to hang your rain jackets, um, maybe your binoculars on a string, um, your lanyard on your cruise ship, maybe a baseball cap. You can hang all of that in your cruise ship cabin and you'll probably find it very handy. Now these are heavy duty ones, so they do stick really, really well, but that's what makes them pretty strong on your cruise cabin wall. Number 24, a waterproof phone case. Really important, obviously, because of the rain, but it also is a dry bag as well. So this is really convenient for you to have with you, not only on the cruise ship, but as well when you are in port on your excursions. Number 25, a portable phone charger. This is something you'll want to bring when you travel anywhere nowadays, but you want to make sure that your phone is charged and you can even bring this with you when you are off the cruise ship. So you will never be without having your cell phone charged. And especially if you're taking photos with your phone, very, very important. Now you may want to bring a good camera as well on your Alaskan cruise. If you are a photographer or an amateur photographer, this may be something you want to pack as well. Number 26, an electronics charger bag case. This is just really good to keep all of your wires, all of your cards, maybe even your SD cards, Anything that you have, you can keep all together and organized for your cruise. Number 26, a hanging toiletry bag. Of course, very convenient for every cruise. I will just show you the nice thing about this one is it does come with this clear pouch. So really, really good for flying and having those TSA approved liquids. And just to show you, it does have a hook. So when you're staying at a hotel the night before the cruise or even on the cruise, you can keep all of your items in this very, very handy. And what I will do as well is I will leave a link to another toiletry bag. I'll just show you. That is maybe one that um, might be considered a little bit more unisex. Personally, I think this one is just fine. My husband and I use it, but some people like this one. And so this is a really good hanging toiletry bag as well. Next up, we have poopery. This is really a cruise essential. Now there's actually a little bit of a science behind this. It's not really an air freshener. It really is a before you go spray. So I don't know exactly how all of the science works, but it does really work. And I do highly recommend for every cruise that you do bring some poopery. 
and cruise luggage tags. You will buy them once, you will use them forever. You will be very, very happy that you did end up purchasing them. Now, something to note is they do come in two sizes and your specific cruise line will be linked down in the description below. So if you're sailing with Princess, for instance, they use the wider luggage tag. And if you sail, for instance, with Celebrity or Royal Caribbean, they use the thinner, longer style of the luggage tag. And of course, you can still fold it up. That's what I did with a Princess Cruise Run just to show you. Now, something to note is do not put this on before you fly. Put it on just the day of your cruise, like the morning of, put it on your luggage. Now I am gonna leave the information for the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down in the description below. It is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can use of course for this cruise as you have the Alaska cruise packing list, but you could use it for future cruises including Caribbean cruises as well. And you can print out the pages as you need them, as many as you need for as many future cruises that you do go on. Now, I hope that this video was helpful and I'd really love to know what are some of the things that you already have on your Alaska cruise packing list. Are there any things that I didn't mention that people should be aware of? Please let me know down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.